up next, the wait is over for this lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and raging Al Iaquinta. All right, so here's Raging Ally Quinta, perennial top 10 contender type, had a main event against Donald Cerrone that didn't go his way. There was a lot of good in that fight for Al, mm -hmm. but candidly, they thought they were going to be able to break Donald Cerrone on the feet, and they were unable to do so. They weren't able to do it, and he was not able to make the necessary adjustments. But I believe in Ray Longo. I believe in Matt Serra, and the next time we see Ally Quinta, the problems that he had in that fight will sure be fixed. They know that with Ally Quinta, you have a guy that has the heart, he has the ability to fix everything, and he will address that when he makes his octagon return. And if you're looking to get $100,000 over asking for your house on Long Island, raising out your Raising out realty. <laughs> Here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist. Given all the skills he brings to the table, the question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. Kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Iaquinta is two years the elder. The rest of the numbers are close. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Wong Kong, New York, presenting the challenger, Raging Al Iaquinta. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of Habiba, the Ebola, Nibago Meta! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting.
this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation. All right, so there it is. The one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Medov. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Attack an armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Margliata has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 13 seconds of the very first round. The great winner by submission due to an armbar, and still... This is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations to the champion once again. And he's got a massive fence around that backyard. Not that anybody in. He's not trying to share this title reign. He wants to be the UFC champion for a long time, and with performances like this,